What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we're back with a brand new AEW action figure review on the AEW Supreme Collection Series number 2 Malachi Black figure. Now, this is our first time in the line Malachi Black. We do have him coming in, I think, Unmatched Series 6 and Unmatched Series 8. And at time of recording, don't think he's with AEW anymore. So, you know, we got this figure just in time. I think a lot of people were anticipating this figure. A lot of people hella excited for this figure. I remember when we first saw this figure, I was over the moon about it. Super excited for it. And we finally have it in our grasp. We're going to, of course, compare it to his Mattel counterpart, compare it to our other Supremes, see how he poses around, see all that. Nonetheless, man, here is the Supreme Collection, Malachi Black. Of course, all the beautiful packaging we always get. You got his name down here, front and center. Guy's looking good. He does have a plastic covering over his mask right there. You can't really see it on camera that well unless you get from, like, this angle right there. So if you're a mock collector, that may turn you off a little bit. You know, I don't know, but just like the Supremes, he's got all of his accessories here on the side. You get some cloth goods, some interchangeable heads. Then flipping it around, you get the masthead sculpt, interchangeable hands. You get the other gear on there. He is number four in the series. Series number two, you got his masked look right there. It looks like total blackness with just a floating skull. Kind of weird. On the back, you get a great image here. Kind of a weird signature, but he's looking great. Love all of the stuff. Supreme Collection. That is all we have for the packaging, man. I cannot wait any longer. Let's crack him out, see what he's all about, put him on the rotating base, fade this review to black real quick. Alright guys, so here's Malachi Black out of the packaging looking pretty swell, I might say. Some of it is a bit confusing, and we'll go through that as we get through the review. I'll showcase all the things about the figure. They kind of are a bit complicated with it, but it's not too too hard. You know, we'll get into it. I'll make sure you know how to do it before we get out of here. Not a perfect figure, but a very damn good detailed figure right here, man. I'm enjoying what I'm seeing so far. Lots of playability, lots of options that we got with this guy. It is truly crazy. The amount of stuff and the amount of details that you're getting with this figure, and I can't wait to get it into it with you. But you guys know how these reviews work. What we're going to do is dive into Malachi Black's accessories and then we'll get into the figure itself, showcase all the comparisons, and of course showcase the abilities that this figure has and break everything down. So with that being said, guys, let's dive into Malachi Black's accessories and then we'll move on with the review. Alright guys, so getting into Malachi Black's accessories, you guys know the drill, right? If it's a Supreme or an Ultimate, they're going to give you a lot of accessories and we're here for it all day, man. Never going to hear me complain about accessories unless they're rubber vests or jackets that hinder the hell out of our articulation, excuse me. Nonetheless, here we are. You got a lot of head sculpts. You get two interchangeable pants. We'll take a look at these in just a moment. You get two pairs of interchangeable hands, two cloth goods, and one vest here, but this vest actually has a myriad of different options for display, and we'll get into all that, but let's start off with these head sculpts, then we'll move into the attires, then we'll move into the cloth goods, and uh, it's a lot of stuff. So the first mask that we have here, guys, is the kind of skull mask with like some sort of stuff growing on it, and then you have the big old antlers coming out of the top, which is very cool. I love that they have some dry brush detail going in here and it's not just solid yellow or brown and you do have this like you know kind of gritty stuff in the cracks of the antlers looks very very good then you have the skull face that's kind of like a charcoalish gray with some black wash and you got a lot of good sculpture you can see malachi underneath which is really great you even get his tattoos here you get the beard you get the short kind of hair there and the like gingerish brownish orange hair color that he's got see the face paint coming through very very nice and unique we'll look at every single body with every single head sculpt this is a very fantastic head sculpt mask is not removable which is i don't know I'll, I'll get into my thoughts on that you also have our other mask head sculpt here which is also a mask with some antlers it's the skull here kind of a bone look pretty good that they gave us details and it's not just one flat color but you have the antlers you have the little ornaments coming off the top there with the black got the beard again you can see him clearly through there which is good again not removable or anything but a very nice head sculpt indeed which mask do you guys like better i mean honestly i like them both in a lot of ways i think this one's more subtle but i love how like grand and crazy crazy this one is so I don't, I don't really know i like them both i think it would be really dope to get mul multiples of the supreme and then custom paint one of these masks i think that would be really badass but now i've given myself ideas and i hate myself the next three head sculpts are going to be unmasked so you have the black and white one half face paint where he's kind of pissed off there you do get the moon tattoo under the eye but these face sculpts are decent i feel like they're a bit cartoony not as like true effectsy as we've seen in the past i don't feel like they're as detailed as head sculpts we've seen in the past but you do have this kind of like straight blank stare face there tattoos hair beard all kind of the same and then the last head sculpt you get is kind of that like kind of black eye looking head sculpt and uh it's not as much paint on there and you know he's kind of smirking smiling so this head sculpt he's just smiling but he does you know it looks like alistair black or malachi black but it's not perfect you know what i mean like i think that it gets the job done but it's not you know perfect by any means this is probably my least favorite head sculpt this one's decent i think i like the pissed off one the most out of the unmasked but as far as the mask i think i 
I'm, I think I like this one the most. I don't know. You guys can let me, you know, leave me your thoughts. Now, the biggest gimmick with the Supremes is going to be your two different gear options here. And this one is his short trunks, or better known as like his Aleister Black look when he was in WWE. But on the back, you do have like this monster skull ass design. I didn't mean to say skull ass, it's a skull esque design, but it is on the ass. You got the antlers, you got his tattoos all through here, which look pretty good here. Don't know about the size of them, you know, but really like it. You know, some of his standout tattoos are present here. I like the mold and I love the knee pads with the matte black and gray with the studdedness right here because you can actually feel you can feel the texture and it looks really good and it even has that toe articulation in there so I like these legs a lot I don't know if I like the trunks or the baggy shorts better but I had an idea a long time ago for the pick fed for Alistair Black to come out with a scythe and then he came out with the scythes like crossbones on his gear and I thought that was insane but I don't know I guess we're just geniuses like that but the black shorts look good and then you do get the thigh cut right there which is really awesome we'll go over the articulation but these look really good as well same knee pads and kick pads again you got the texture on there very nice I'm glad that we have both options right here and it is cool to see and we'll look at what the body looks like on both of these in just a few moments but I like the gear options you know he's dark he's kind of a, a gothic evil character-esque so you know the the dark colors is obviously what you're going to get with him and I like it I'm here for it now before we get into the cloth goods I guess I can knock out the hands real quick you do get the C grip mic or object holding hands here with all the tattoos which look really good and then you get the same tattoo designs but they are fisted hands so you get fists and mic holding hands that's it not a big deal when you consider everything we're getting here but uh yeah that's it for the interchangeable hands portion now for the cloth goods I'm gonna have to go over this really slowly and kind of break it down but but you get two different options here, and then you get the overthrow vest. And I'm going to have to build up the guy here. I'm going to have to put him together here so you guys can kind of see what we're working with. And out of the packaging, he actually had plastic covering his whole body. So I have, I'm just giving you a disclaimer, I have zero idea on if it will stain or not. I haven't seen any staining, but that doesn't mean that it won't happen. You know what I mean? So that pisses me off right there. Gap right there. That should absolutely continue the design so you don't get that break. But as far as staining is concerned, as far as staining is concerned, I could not tell you right now if it stains or not when leaving these things on, so you'll have to play that by ear. But as far as your cloth goods go, I'll put on both of them so you guys can see here. So you get two options, and you'll notice on both of them in the middle, it has this little loop. What you do with this loop, both of them have a loop. You put the loop over the neck like so. I mean, I'd honestly recommend putting a head sculpt on here so it'll hold the loop in place. So you put the loop over the neck after removing the head, put the head sculpt on, then you will bend the arm back put the arms through the holes that it gives you so there's one hole and then coming over here there's the other hole and then you would slide that on and there there is the one option so it comes with a little hood you could put that hood up right there and you can hold it in place like it'll it'll stay on for the most part or you can even go a step further and you could put the vest that it comes with on here so this is another accessory that has a ton of detail you could stick this vest on here and it acts as the main like body of the hood if that makes sense so it'll hold it in place and you get some of that texturing detail so now it looks like a trench coat with textured detail with cloth if that makes sense you get some of the details from the sculpt but you also get the cloth goods feature which is really awesome and you guys can see you can't see the neck loop but it keeps that hood up but it keeps it locked in place and it looks really good so then to remove it you would then obviously and you don't even have to put this vest on if you don't want to it just kind of holds it in place better you could just straight up ride with you know just the cloth goods there but then you would remove the arms you'll remove the head and then the loop would pop off and that's how you remove that. Getting just a real close-up shot real quick of the rubber vest so you guys can see. You got the spine in there. Tons of great details on this thing. I think it looks awesome. You got like, it's basically like a skeleton muscular wrap around kind of and it's got these like hangy pieces. Very, very beautiful piece. I think this is awesome. And you could even, rock, the figure could rock this by itself. You don't even need the cloth goods if you don't want it. You could just put this on as a straight up vest accessory if you wanted to as an entrance vest. So now you have just a regular entrance vest that Malachi or Aleister Black would wear. So that gives you another option right there. So tons and tons of options here. But looking at the last part of the cloth goods, again, you open it up. You guys can see this little loop right here. You'll put the loop over the head sculpt. You'll leave that over there. You'll put a head sculpt on the neck so that it holds the loop in place. You will then bend the arms back, find the armhole right there, find the other armhole right here, and then boom. Now you have another 
another option where it's kind of thicker and longer and again you can pull the hood up again if you want to do that it gives you a hood option right there and again you don't have to use the vest but you can put the vest on and it'll cover all this up and it'll you know kind of hold that in place but you don't have to i don't think it's a must have but i think it'll help keep it from like flailing out like a cape it'll keep it kind of under control and it'll keep it tucked under the figure there so lots of options i know it's kind of confusing i hope i made it make sense but yeah there's your options for your malachi and that pretty much wraps up all of your accessory options all right guys so getting into malachi black starting out at the head sculpt of course you guys can see the proportion here it's the straight face there no remarks or anything but you guys can see here getting into the torso and how the head i mean the head sits pretty fine here i can already tell that we're probably gonna have some scaling issues you know that's the way of the world now but here's the tattoos on it when i first saw the torso i was a bit bummed out but taking a closer look at it i don't think it's so so bad you know you do get plenty of tattoo detail here the butterfly joints i've noticed i do not move i don't i don't know what's up with that like i cannot get like it is stiff bro this one has a little movement in there this one doesn't even move so i, I don't really know what to think about that honestly but the tattoos are all there when i look at this i just remember bw hand painting a full alistair black with a heat slater head sculpt and that's what i think of when i look at alistair black figures for some reason but tattoos get cut off there kind of annoys me um you do have the little demon babies right here on his stomach one thing that does annoy me is that the tattoos don't cover the shoulder like his tattoos do cover his shoulders and like the inner bicep right there and stuff like that i'm pretty sure he doesn't have all that gappage you know what i mean so that does kind of bother me right there also the same thing over here i don't think this inner bicep is completely empty like that again i could be wrong but i don't know i just feel like there's a lot of gaps and i don't think that's accurate to malachi black like right here as well it's got a roman reigns type deal kind of going on and then on this like back gremlin demon thing here that bothers me how it cuts off right there i'd really wish that would continue but at the same time i do like the color of the tattoos they all look natural they all look good and they look like his tattoos i'm pretty sure they use the source material there's the black trunks and the hands and the black wrist tape and stuff like that so you get a lot of tattoo work going on it's just i, I think they could have done a little bit better job on those and i feel like maybe the chest is massive but we've come to know that you know but we've took a look at these legs already but again man i love the textured kick pads those are freaking awesome but as far as the full deal i do want to get into the articulation so he can look down a decent bit he can look up a decent bit as well because his hair is not that long but the ab crunch is pretty damn phenomenal because it is an aew figure he can do the wide split c he has a pretty good forward cut right there i mean good god that forward kicks good thigh thigh swivels good double jointed knee is good kick pad swivel ankle rocker and the toe articulation again man i cannot get this butterfly joint to articulate but his arm can go back really high can go up really high bicep swivels good double jointed arm is good like all this is nice you get the wrist swivel and hinge i just can't get the butterfly joint to really articulate for whatever reason the right one's okay like if you, you know our left his right and then this one's just stiff so i don't know i guess i'd rather it be super stiff than super loose but uh you, you guys know how the AEW figures do i mean feels really good in hand it's just uh i don't know but i do want to look at the other option so you know you can pop that off and then you can just pop the shorts on here if you guys wanted to do that and there we go and here's a full look at the shorts on here which look pretty good and there's the kick forward on that thigh cuts underneath the shorts which is a nice touch but i i mean it's pretty much the same exact articulation when you get into the shorts there but i don't know man i mean i'm enjoying it after we do these comparisons actually before we do the comparisons let's take a look at what each head sculpt looks like on each gear then we'll get into some comparisons so here's the straight face on the shorts you have the grimacing face on the shorts which i think is a pretty good look i like the grimacing face you have the smiling black eyed style head sculpt which is decent not my favorite but it's a decent one you have the skull antler style head sculpt that's not the one with the long antlers well, like, it's got some decent long antlers. You get what I'm saying. It's not the big old elk style or devil horn style antlers. And then you have the devil's horns antler style deal going on with the uh, the longer trunks there. Then you have that same head sculpt in the short trunks wrestling style. You have the alternate mask option on the short trunks wrestling, you know, the traditional wrestling trunks. You have the grimacing face sculpt on the wrestling trunks. You have the black eyed smiling face sculpt on the wrestling trunks. And now we're back at the beginning with the regular face paint straight face on the wrestling trunks where we started the review and then for your malachi black figure comparisons here is the other men's versions of supreme collections we've seen you got cody rhodes from series one and then the counterpart to series two in kenny omega and i love all three of these figures in their own way i think all three of these scale pretty well together i think that alistair black's chest is just massive though like kind of like brian danielson's but at the end of the day i do enjoy these figures a lot they bring me a lot of joy posing them around and getting to you know do all the different things but the scaling thing is an issue like you can't lie I say it isn't so nonetheless uh i'm enjoying this if i 
had to pick a favorite of the three, I think I'd go with Kenny Omega, but you know, you could ask me on a different day and I could have a different answer for you, but I think I do like the Kenny slightly more than the Malachi Black, but all three of these figures are really fun. All right, guys, so for your other Malachi slash Aleister Black comparisons, you guys will just see, here is the Supreme in the middle, and then you have the NXT Elite, which actually has a fix-up to make him slightly taller. You have the Elite 73, you have the Elite 85, and then the Elite 85 Chase, and this is just the biggest thing about these, these companies here. Jazzwares makes them much bigger than Mattel, and I mean, they are they are bigger, right? I mean, <laughs> there's really no else, to, no other way to put it, but I don't know. It's just different, you know what I mean? I mean, I thought that they made Aleister Black too small anyway, but here's with the, the fix-up to make him taller, which I think was pretty diggum perfect, and then you put him up to, next to him, and he looks like a, you know, he looks tiny in comparison, but it's just the proportions and the way these companies make their figures, right? So it, it's kind of hard to tell, and if you were to compare, it's kind of wild, though, because if you compared a Mattel WWE Elite to a Marvel Legend, the WWE Elite is, like, massive compared to the Marvel Legend, so if you compared a Marvel Legend to these Jazzwares, I mean, you, you would see a massive difference there, but I don't know. I think you probably could get away with putting one of these heads over here or something like that, but yeah, I mean, they're, they're way bigger, and you might be able to put one of these accessories over here, but it's obvious that the Supreme and Jazzwares are much bigger than uh, their counterparts, at least a lot of times. Like, see, this fin works out, but it's like when they compare the same character, it doesn't work out all that great. But yeah, I mean, like, you could get away with it, I guess, but just the Jazzwares figures are just so much larger and in comparison, it's ridiculous, but that is your Malachi Black figure comparisons. But I think that pretty much wraps up this AEW Supreme Collection Series 2 review on AEW Supreme Collection Malachi Black, man. Had a ton of fun here, man. So many details and so much stuff you get with this figure, man. I think my biggest issue with AEW figures right now is going to be that they're just inconsistent. I think that, you know, some figures you get are perfect size, some are way too damn big. That is one of the things that kind of drives me crazy right now because at the beginning, they were perfect scale with Mattel figures for the most part, and now we've kind of gotten away from that. They're a bit too big. They don't scale perfectly with Mattel, and I think that really hurts them and makes them turned off to purchase because we want them all to be meshed across the middle. Maybe they need to go back to the drawing board. I, I don't know. I don't know what to tell them about that. This figure feels really tight, though. I do wish that he had more tattoo coverage. feel like it doesn't get all of his tattoos on there, and they're a bit misplaced on some spots. But I think if you're looking for an ultimate Malachi or Aleister Black figure, this one is pretty damn phenomenal, man. It, it looks amazing. I mean, look at all these accessories. I love the masked head sculpts. Kind of wish we got some loose masks, you know? Just because if you're doing, like, a pick fed match or whatever, and you have him do his entrance with the, the mask on, and then he takes his mask off to wrestle, and then you don't even have the object of his mask, you know what I mean? So that's a bit weird. That's kind of just a slight gripe there, you know, if you're taking his mask off in photography or on your shelf, you don't have a physical mask. You would have to buy another one of these and then hollow it out and cut the face off and do all this crazy surgery on it to get that look, and I would hate for that to have to happen, but this figure is badass. It's a lot of fun to play around with, and I'm excited for more Malachi's in the future, whether that's from Mattel or Jazzwares. I don't care. I'll be there. I have a pretty massive Aleister Black collection there, so I'll continue to work on that, but that is going to wrap up this Supreme Collection review, man. Had a ton of fun with it. Like I said, if you guys would like to grab this figure, go over to Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. But well, that pretty much wraps this video up, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I'm getting the hell out of here. Leave me your thoughts on this Malachi Black down in the comment section below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one.